Hey runners, I'm about to go for a little jog. I wanted to talk about a few things we can do to start getting our tissues prepared for the demand of jogging. This is gonna be a 20 to 30 minute little jog with my dog, so it's not gonna be super intense depending on what you're training for. Uh, but I just wanna get my tissue ready so that I minimize my issues of possibly getting slightly injured uh, or further causing some damage or even being a little bit imbalanced or so driving with the emergency brake on or having some uh, imbalance left to right. These are things that we should always be working on. You should always be working on having healthy tissue. So I like to start with just getting the knees moving, get a little blood flow going side to side, almost like your skin. All right, and then right into the dynamic nerve floss. So I'm pulling those toes back. I have this knee bent and that outside leg straight. So I'm getting that nice stretch down the hamstring. Now, I don't believe in static stretching. So you're not gonna see that in my warm up. okay? You can do it in kind of yoga type stretching, breathing into it for different reasons. So static stretching right before an activity, especially something like running, not something I love doing, all right? I love to do though is squat. So working on squatting and just working on moving those joints around all the way from the feet through the hips, knees, ankles. All right, and then kind of goalie knees here. I like to get the hips moving. Just a few reps side to side. All right, staying down here in the squat, grabbing your toes, sticking your tush up in the sky, and then getting up nice and tall, getting the thoracic involved. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there. I wanna keep this relatively simple. So one more time, just get a little blood flowing into the knees. Again, that's gonna get the ankles, the hips moving. All right, then we went over to the dynamic nerve floss. All right, so we get that nice stretch down the back of the leg. All right, then working into the squatting pattern. So again, shifting side to side, alternating goalie knees kind of working on getting those hips opened up, and of course, grabbing the toes and tushy up in the sky. All right, before we go running though, one last thing I wanna add in is just getting those calves ready to go. So you might see some people do this before a race just to get the energy out. You can kind of control that as well. Do a few calf raises, two up, one down. Two up, one down. Working in some version of calf raising, and even side to side, any kind of dynamic activity that you're gonna get into the calves, the feet, so that they're really firing better. Again, we wanna put the whole picture together. These are some ideas. Let's continue that conversation, see what you currently do, see if we can make it better. Again, one thing I, I see a lot of is this kind of easy stretch, right? It's not doing a ton. I think we can make it a better use of your time. Maybe find a nice five minute routine that you can start doing. Do that for the next week or so. See if your running feels better. See if you recover faster. Let's keep the conversation going, guys. Talk to you soon. Get 1% better. Get 1,000% better. Let's go.